Hello, this is Meza Revelation Ministry. The guardian principle of this ministry is Matthew chapter 24, verse 4, where Jesus admonishes us to make sure nobody deceives us. So I'm going to talk about 10 ways of deception that we must watch. Number one, demonic doctrines. The preaching of demonic, demonic doctrines. Doctrines that will take people to hell. And people are very serious of that. Pope Francis is saying that there's no hell. The whole Pope, the head of the Roman Catholic Church, is preaching a demonic doctrine that there's no hell. Number two, charismatic deception. I call it charismatic deception. Uh, they are so-called men of God who adopt charismatic style in their uh, preaching, in their dressing, they speak very well. They have very high level of communication. They have they are good orators. And they deceive people using a whole lot of charismatic tricks to get large crowd and to get attention on themselves. This is what I call charismatic deception. They don't preach about salvation. They don't preach about judgment. Hardly do they preach about the second coming of our Lord. The third pattern of deception is self-promotion. Where people, instead of preaching about God, preach about themselves. And their followers worship them instead of worshiping God. So in the end, they wouldn't, they wouldn't have anything to show about their worship of God. Because all along, they had been worshiping their pastors who are self-promoting themselves with their wealth. Some of them with their looks and other things that have no relevance to salvation. Number four is title grabbing. People are appropriating to themselves titles. They are no longer prophets. Some of them are major prophets. They are no longer apostles. They call themselves major apostles. They are no longer bishops. They call themselves archbishops. Please, uh, let's read Revelation chapter 1, verse 1. The revelation of Jesus Christ, which God gave him to show his servants things which must shortly take place. And he sent and signified it by his angel to his servant John. So you can see from the book of Revelation that Jesus was not sending his message to bishops, popes, archbishops, apostles, and apostle generals. Jesus was sending his message to his servants. But in the last day deception, people are giving themselves bigger titles that will aid them in deceiving people. Another deception is telling lies. They know what they are saying is not true, but they say it. They are witness. The whole set 
The Jehovah Witness set is based on a lie. And the lie is that Jesus came. He came to this world. He came back. The second coming of Jesus is in, uh, was in 1914. It's a big lie. So if you talk to any Jehovah Witness person about the rapture, he doesn't believe in the rapture because he believes in the lie that Jesus came in 1914. Number seven, the next level of deception is impersonation. By impersonation, I mean a situation where somebody pretends or uh, carries himself as um, a person, uh, a character in the Bible. Um, Malachi chapter 4 verse 5, for example, says that before the coming of the Lord, there will be an Elijah. Uh, there are some people who consider themselves as the Elijah. Um, I met somebody who said uh, his his mentor, his prophet, William Braham, or uh, I'm not sure whether I'm saying his, I'm, I'm saying his name right, uh, is the Elijah that is spoken of in Malachi chapter 4, verse 5. Impersonation would be the means where the Antichrist, when uh, he goes into the temple in Jerusalem, will declare himself as Christ. So impersonation is one of the major ways by which Satan's agents uh, would deceive people in the end of days. Number seven, false prophecies. Uh, it's very obvious that the intention of the false prophets is to deceive. Uh, number eight, uh, which, um, there's also prediction. There are some people who predict something, it comes true. And the fact that what they predict comes true doesn't make them men of God. They have powers from Satan, um, powers of divination. They can see into the future and say something that comes true. So the fact that somebody predicts who will be president of the United States in 2016, and if that prediction comes through, that doesn't make that person a prophet, because Satan's agents can also predict things in the future. Uh, and when they predict, uh, it's a strategy to make them so valuable so that they can deceive people. No matter is deflection. By deflection, I mean a situation where a false preacher or a pastor talks about the same things that he does that is wrong and he accuses other people of doing it. This is what I call deflection. I'll give you one example. There's someone that I know, uh, he's a naturalized Canadian. Uh, he used to live in Toronto, Canada. He, he, I believe he now lives in Buffalo area in New York. His ministry is called Power of the Cross Ministry. Power of the Cross. His first name is Samuel. His wife's name is Ruth. Uh, he's into the occult. The last time I watched him uh, on the internet, uh, he is telling people, he's quoting Matthew chapter 24 verse 4, which says, let no man deceive you. He's advising people not to be deceived, but he himself is a deceiver. He's an occult person who carries himself as an apostle. He's an agent of Satan who carries himself like an apostle of God. There's another um, 
Pastor, he has a video how to identify a false prophet. I watched that video. The title, How to Identify a False Prophet. That pastor is not good. My revelation, I was shown a vision where that this man is an agent of the dark kingdom. But uh, he is telling people um, how to identify a false prophet, which he is one. The last point. Deception will be high where people are ignorant. They will use the Bible to deceive you. And if you are not strong in the word of God, you will be deceived. And in the last days, as Jesus said, the very elect will be subject to deception. The only way to stay away from deception is to get yourself strong in the word of God. Read the Bible, understand the Bible, and pray to God for discernment, which will be greater in the last days when Jesus prepares to come to redeem the saints and to judge the sinners. This is Messiah Revelation Ministry. I'm Charles Quartin. Thank you.